Hello, my name is Jennifer, and today we're going to be talking about coding, which is a very important part of either the ERB WIPSI or WISC exams. With coding, a child is going to be given certain symbols, which they then need to fill in based on a key which is listed above. They cannot skip any symbols or jump around and just fill in just one shape at a time. It needs to go linearly, left to right, top to bottom. Um, and with this, they're actually going to be measured in regards how accurate their shapes are, as well as how quickly they get through this. The children are generally given about two minutes of time, and if the child stops here, what they'll do is count through how many shapes were answered correctly and subtract any of those that were inaccurately filled in, and that is how they generate the score for that section. When we first begin teaching a child coding at Bright Kids, we start with coding readiness. This is simply having children pick up a pencil and practice writing common symbols. And then eventually you want to make sure they have the right kind of pencil grip to ensure that when they do fill out those different symbols, they are comfortable and are able to complete those accurately. Fine motor skills need time and practice to develop, so play with pickup sticks, Legos, blocks, or clay when you have the opportunity in order to sharpen that skill set. Once you feel a child is ready, begin working on the short coding sheets. On these, the shapes are bigger and there's more room to draw the symbols. Begin working on the full length coding sheets when your child has built up enough stamina. Also to keep in mind is it's about a two minute time period, so you know as much as we're concerned about accuracy, it's also about speed. You want them to complete as many symbols as they can within that time period. And you know, with certain children, timing is something you may want to work up to as well with them. Some children love being timed. They think it's a lot of fun. They like to race the clock. Other children are a little bit more hesitant about having that done with them. And in that case, you might not want to just have them work and filling out some coding sheets and eventually introduce the idea that it will be a timed exam. When working with young children, it's important to provide a lot of encouragement. If your child has trouble staying on task, you may consider appropriate rewards. For children that are less inclined to this activity, try to do this activity early on in their tutoring and then move to some more fun activities so they're more motivated to keep working. So that sums up coding. If you have any particular questions, feel free to give us a call and we'll be glad to answer any of your questions. Thanks so much.